I remember after our rocky start in year seven, and you realising I wasn't a nerd after all, <laughs> we started to hang around together inside and outside school, becoming quite close. After I found some Dutch courage, needed it after the first time, I told you I liked you, and this time I wasn't told to do one. Shortly after, we got together. You have always looked out for me, knowing what is in my best interest, and, what, and this is what has kept me on the straight and narrow, becoming the man I am today. Without your support, I would not have achieved half of what I have. Now they say you should talk about when you realise she was the one. For me, it was a feeling that will stay with me forever. We were in Sardinia when we decided to take a quad bike tour of the island. Let loose, we were soon tearing around the island, skidding around corners, throwing dust everywhere. At one corner, I overcooked it, and with two wheels off the ground, I felt the tightening around my waist and a yelp of nervousness. Frankie was holding on for dear life. In that split second, I had a feeling of dread. The only thought that came to my mind was, is Frankie okay? Now that may be because I love her and I don't know what I'd do without her. Or because I wouldn't know how to tell her dad what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, somehow you tolerate my silly, unserious ways, my OCD, and our long to-do lists that keep us busy. You get me and are understanding and supportive when I need it most. You're kind, caring, and always there for me. I love you, and look forward to tackling life's adventures with you. But first, a toast. Please stand and raise a glass for my beautiful wife, Frankie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.